morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. Good morning. It's your old pals, Dale and Paula. Now, Paula went and took an airplane up to Reno, Nevada. What the heck was that all about? I was traveling on business, but you know us. Have camera, will <laughs> vlog, so I vlogged it. <laughs> Absolutely. So she stayed at the Pepper Mill up there, which is a historical little uh, casino that they have in Reno, and she filmed the whole thing. It is so beautiful. We can't wait to show it to you. Those of you who've never been to Reno and might never go to Reno, we're going to take a peek. And then guess what? On the airplane ride back, she went and took a look at the Pepper Mill here on the Las Vegas Strip. So we're doing dual Pepper Mills today. Get ready, everybody, because this adventure starts right now. Here at Las Vegas Inside and Out, we just love road trips. So here we are, about 500 miles north of town via U.S. Route 95 in Reno, Nevada. This is the Pepper Mill on South Virginia Street. Believe it or not, this world-class resort started life just over 50 years ago as a coffee shop and a lounge. Now it's a mega resort with a charming Tuscany theme that is evident right out at the street with water features and statuary. A few years in, the Pepper Mill had added a little motor lodge and casino, and six years later, the first hotel tower. In 2007, they added a second tower, and now there are more than 1,600 rooms and almost 800 suites. Step under the roof of this expansive valet and hotel drop-off area, and we can't help but notice the red lighting. Stay tuned, there will be more of that in the casino. The four murals depicting Rome, Venice, Milan, and Florence, which is the capital of the Tuscany region in Italy, carry through the theme that we have already seen on the exterior. First things first, we find the lobby and front desk and get ourselves checked in. Just opposite the check-in desk is Cafe Espresso, which is busy all through the day serving coffees, pastries, and fresh-made paninis. And this, my friends, is why we decided to vlog the Pepper Mill, the Tuscany Tower. Step into our semi-private entryway and let's see what's behind the door. The Tuscany Tower opened in 2007, and from the outside, it's all glass reflecting the big blue sky of the high desert. But inside all that glass are 600 suites decked out in Tuscan luxury and warm colors. This is the Tuscany King Suite, a generous 550 square feet, and we are not kidding when we say we could actually live here. We happen to be on the ground floor, but we'll get into that in a minute. There's a king-size bed with a double pillow top mattress custom made for the pepper mill. The furnishings in the seating area are handmade. And over on the other side of the room, that's a credenza with both a Keurig and a refrigerator. There's a writing desk and a bench for your suitcase. The closet is extra sized with spare linens and out of the frame is an iron and an ironing board. I'll tell you what folks, there's a lot to love right here. But we aren't done yet. Just check out this bathroom. It's all done in marble with his and her sinks with so many great features. Over here is the oversized soaking tub. And next to that, the classy black and white marble shower stall. It's huge with double shower heads and a corner seat.
The commode is in a separate room. The vanity features two mirrors. Two sinks. A dressing table and plush terry towels. Everything about this bathroom just oozes luxury. But as usual, it's what's outside that is always the best reveal. Because this suite is on the ground floor, you have the perk of a gorgeous Tuscan garden outside the French doors. Just check out this view. There's a five-tiered fountain on the other side of the railing and a green space as far as you can see. The patio is set up with two plush chairs and a table and this incredible view of the bubbling fountain. Seriously folks, if you find yourself traveling to Reno, book room T226 because it doesn't get any better than this. And you can score it for only $150 on a weekday in August. The Tuscany Tower happens to be the closest access to the expansive convention area at the Pepper Mill. There are 106,000 square feet of meeting space here, including Northern Nevada's largest clear span meeting space. The Pepper Mill has been awarded the AAA Four Diamond Rating for Hospitality Industry Excellence, and it is well deserved. The staff here will manage meetings and events of all sizes and offers lots of in-house services. We just happened to catch a teardown happening as we visited, and the attendees were enjoying the final evening of revelry inside the Terrace Lounge when we passed by. Not far from the Tuscany elevators and the convention space is the entrance to the pool deck. The main pool is busy on this July late afternoon, and happily for the guests, the pool deck is open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Note that the two of the Pepper Mill's most popular attractions overlook the pool, the 33,000 square foot spa and the Bimini Steakhouse. There is also a smaller pool on this side, and here's a fun fact, both pools are heated by geothermal energy. Over tucked in that corner is the hot tub, and near the main pool is the convenient bar. The Tuscan theming is in evidence here as well, with the lovely mermaid feature and all the statuary. Ready for some food? Biscotti's Cafe is just a few steps away. The counter area is perfect for grab-and-go bakery and it all looks delicious. But if you have the time, go into this beautiful restaurant for a sit-down meal. Biscotti's has earned a Reno's Best Coffee Shop Award from Casino Player Magazine and just one look at this place tells us why. Not only is the main restaurant a gorgeous space, but just check out these private rooms. Plus, we just love the wall art and decor touches in here. Just think, this is just one of nine fabulous restaurant venues inside the Pepper Mill. <laughs> this is a long way from its humble beginnings as a coffee shop. Biscotti's opens at 7 a.m. for breakfast and has an expansive menu for every meal and every craving. 
You'll find home cooked favorites as well as lots of global flavors and pretty much anything you have a taste for. Paula ordered the Tuscan chicken sandwich with a side of fresh watermelon salad, and she said it was fantastic. All right, let's take a quick pass through the casino. Remember those red lights in the Porte Cochere? Well, the entry doors to the casino are even more red, and I'll tell you what, it absolutely makes a statement, don't you agree? The other statement is all these huge oversized LED screens depicting scenes from around the world. You'll find them in the casino, behind the check-in desk, and even as you're coming down the escalator. The Pepper Mill Casino is a whopping 107,272 square feet, a size that could rival some of the Vegas Strip casinos. The owners expanded into gaming in 1979, and a series of expansions brought it to its current size. Pepper Mill's Casino has won Best of Reno in several categories, as well as Best Casino and Best Place to Gamble. Plus, it is home to the town's most luxurious poker room with 19 tables. Step this way, turn the corner, and here is the sports deli. The Peppermill Race and Sports Book is as high-tech as they come, with over 100 screens for optimal viewing. As great as the pepper mill was, it was just a quick overnighter, so it was back to the Reno airport the next day for the trip home. This time of year is Art Town in Reno, and Paula just happened to catch a concert by the Sierra High Notes in the airport concourse. The song is Home Means Nevada, a theme for our state and the logo on some state license plates. And now we're heading back to Las Vegas and that other pepper mill on the Las Vegas Strip. Traveling is great, but so is coming back to this, the Las Vegas Strip on a sunny summer day. As we turn north on the boulevard, we just have to take a minute to marvel at the transformation of the skyline on this part of the Strip. Win, Encore, Resorts World, and the Fountain Blue, I think all of this may be giving the area further south a run for its money. And here is our destination, the other Pepper Mill. So here we are, snuggled into a little spot across from Resorts World next to a couple of discount stores at the oldest freestanding bar on the Strip, the Pepper Mill. This historic and iconic spot opened in December 1972 by the same folks that owned the one in Reno, and that means they are celebrating their golden anniversary this year, classic Vegas indeed. We are always on the lookout for construction updates, so right next door you can see the expansion of the Las Vegas Convention Center onto the Strip and the Fountain Blue due to open next year. I'll tell you what, if you're the Pepper Mill, you're in a pretty enviable spot right here. And in we go. You may remember Paula had breakfast here in the spring of 2021, and in fact, she rated it as one of her top five breakfast destinations. The restaurant is legendary for great decor and huge portions, but we're not here for that today. Swing past the rows of slots and that oversized projection screen, the Fireside Lounge is where we are headed today. This room just might be the most alluring lounge in town.
These booths in the back are so secluded, you expect A-listers to be sitting with their entourages sipping martinis, <laughs> which they did, and by the way, which they still do. The Fireside Lounge has been the setting for memorable movies like Casino and Showgirls because, well, it's just perfect. The focal point of the lounge is the fire pit, which is pretty much unchanged since 1972. In cooler weather, there's no better place to be to warm up and watch the flames in your drink, and any time of year, it's a terrific photo spot. The blue and pink neon decor was added during a 1986 renovation, and although it's refreshed periodically, the owners remain true to this vintage theming. On this quiet midweek afternoon, Paula pulled up a seat at the bar and chatted up with the bartenders. From this vantage point, you have a great panoramic view of the fire pit and the entire room. This place seriously has to be seen to be believed. And yes, the cocktail servers do wear formal black evening gowns any time of the day. Being in the Fireside Lounge calls for one of their signature drinks, so with the help of the bartender, Paula chose the Kiss My Cucumber, an incredibly refreshing concoction of Hendrix Gin, Melon Liqueur, Lime, Mint, and Cucumber. The appetizers in the bar come highly rated, so she just had to indulge in another recommendation, the Sriracha Chicken Bites. The Pepper Mill Las Vegas website tells us that some things are better left unchanged. Here's to the way it used to be. We'll toast to that. This place is definitely a classic. Well, all I can say is I sure wish my partner in crime had been with me because I love the Fireside Lounge. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> can I just say something? I'm not asking for anybody's pity, but I have had a head cold for two, two. solid weeks, weeks here in Las Vegas, and it's absolutely thrown me for a loop. If you listen to my voiceover on this, you'll notice that the first half, uh, it's not too bad, but the second half, I went the next day, and oh my gosh, I sounded like a, a nasal. I had a nasal <laughs> problem. Anyway. It's just deep. I'll tell you what, though. The show must go on, and that's what we do. We keep uh, surging ahead. That is true. <laughs> so we've been adding a little bit of history in our outros, and the story of the Peppermill is just one of those feel-good stories. Two best friends, Nat and Bill, started the coffee shop back in 1971, so they just celebrated their 50th anniversary. And then a year later, they opened the one in Vegas, uh, a few years after that, they joined together with another family and they went for the gaming license and they built the hotel. And believe it or not, more than 50 years later, those same families still privately own Pepper Mill casinos. Think about that. Think about that. In this environment that we live in, yeah. the same families have owned these places in, in all that amount of time. And now, super successful. <laughs> right. When they did come back here, not only did they open up the pepper mill on the Strip, they also went over to Henderson, and I think it was on Water Street, right? It is. And they, we uh, acquired a place called the Rainbow Club. That's right. The yeah. Rainbow Club on Water Street. Yeah. And they, it's still there. We actually drove by it when we did our east side driving tour. It's a really cute little place. It's only 8,800 square feet. Not real big. And it has a restaurant. Yeah, but it is part of the Pepper Mill family. Pepper yeah. Mill family. All right. That's right. So one other thing I wanted to mention about the Pepper Mill Reno that I find fascinating. I actually work in the energy industry. 
and in 2009 they drilled a geothermal well on their property and it actually heats the whole place, provides all the heating. And remember, this is Reno. It gets cold, it's cold up there. Yeah. And it also provides some of the cooling. It heats the pools. It's very revolutionary. It's kind of first of its kind. So big thumbs up to the Pepper Mill Reno for And that. I think you can e even use that technology to heat your house, too. You, you can. And there's a lot of geothermal up north. So I thought that was really fascinating. And speaking of which, just a little tie-in. <laughs> I still work. Um, oh, this is just, a this is a long story. It is a long story. Not going to bore you with it. Yeah. But basically, uh, we had a kind of a little come to Jesus meeting a couple weeks ago, <laughs> and we decided that it is not a good time in the world to retire. So postponing that for a while and still plugging along with we, my dual responsibilities. We put the brakes on the whole thing, and good believe word. me, it was one of the hardest things uh, that we've done in a long time because we had a lot of plans coming up. Yeah. We're working on things and uh, very happy with this decision. We did the right thing and we, we know we did. So. All right, I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these wonderful people, Paula? I'm going to say it. If you're in Reno or Vegas, patronize the Pepper Mill. They're wonderful. It is. It's a nice place and, and nice people. Wonderful people. They must be a great company to work for because everybody is super nice. All right. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Everybody.